Now we are going to discuss grouping anagrams. First, let's see what is the real life use of grouping anagrams. First, real life application is data analysis and processing. So, text search and filtering. So, anagram grouping helps in efficient text search. It also comprises the data. So, grouping anagrams reduces data size. The very well known in machine learning is natural processing language. In this also, anagram used in spelling check. So, whenever in Grammarly or in your PPT or something, you have seen that we use as spell check. So that is what Enneagram does. Enneagram grouping helps identifying various words variation and it also checks the spelling and sentiment analysis also. That means improve text clarification. After that, it is also used for the password security. So Enneagram grouping enhances password strength. After that, it is also used in encryption and one of the best suggestion like Whatever you we use in real life is Google search suggestion also uses anagram grouping. It is also used for the very famous Grammarly and it is also used for autocorrect. And in Grammarly, it is used as spell check tool. And password managers like pass, last pass or one password also it is used. It is used for bio informats like uh, tools like Blast and GenBank. So for this, anagrams is used. Grouping of anagrams is used. So this was the real life examples where we use our anagrams. Let's see in the coding how we solve the problem. What is the best case, which is the worst case and how we can optimize it more. So there are two ways to solve this. So let me write the problem. Group grouping grouping anagrams grouping anagrams is our problem first we will see the method one by which we will do we will do it categorize by sorting this is one of the way which we are going to use to solve this problem. Second method which we are going to see is categorize by frequency. Categorize by frequency. So this two methods we are going to see. But let's first understand. So many of you don't know anagrams. Let's just see what is anagram. So I'll take three examples where I'll show you how the anagrams look like. So for that, I have to take array, which looks like this. So eat, t, 10, 8, nat, bat. So this is one array. Okay. What is the output? Output we require. This is 8, this is eat, this is t. Now this is our output. Many of you have not understood up till here also. But okay, let, let me help you to understand this. So what is anagram? So if we will shuffle this, e, a, t, e, something like that. Can it match to any of this word? Let's say I put this a front and after that I will put this t and e at the last with this word itself i am able to make this so is it matching to any of this yes it is matching to ate can i again shuffle this particular word to make any of this word so if i put this t in front after that e and then a so i am i am able to make this t okay so here shuffling the words can make a new word well the each word frequency is as same as the other word here also in this if you will see that t is coming one time e is coming one time a is coming one time but we have done just the shuffling and the word meaning is changed so this is called as anagrams so what we have to do we will be giving an array and we have to group the anagrams together 
like here the bat is the only output if we will shuffle it will not create any of this so that is why it is the single one here after that nat and tan these are two enneagram groupings why because if we will shuffle this nat to tan it will be same the frequency of n is 1 the frequency of t is 1 the frequency of a is 1 here also this is one of the group if we will shuffle any of this so it has the potential to make this word like ate if we shuffle this it can be t it can be 8 and it can be 8 so that is called as enneagram grouping and the question is given an array of string group all the enneagrams together so this is the array given to us and we have to group the enneagrams i hope you understood now let's for the even better understanding let's take the next example this is example number one Let's take the example 2. This is array and this is eat, this is cars, t, this is scare and this is a. Now, can you yourself just write what is the anagram for this? Can you yourself write the output? And if you are able to write the output that yes, that means yes, you understood. So, eat, after that TEA, then cars, then scare. And A is the single one because it is the single one. You can understand that no A is there. What if we consider the third one? where array is like this so in this case what should be our output the output will look like this output it will look like this yes the same empty string so this is the enneagram and this is the question so with all three examples i hope it is clear that how to form the grouping now let's talk about how to solve the problem here in this i have given you two methods but before coming to two method can we just look for the general method the brute force approach it will be lengthy it the time complexity also will be high but we should first discuss that and how we will do it we will we, what we can do in the brute force approach or in the general approach we will take each this string and we will match it with the other string whether it can form the same whether it is have same frequency whether after shuffling it can form the same number or the same string that is what we can do but can you see the string is this much but what if the string is huge what in that case what we will do so brute force approach is not at all the right way so let's get started with the first method which is categorize by sorting Let's understood this. Let's see how we can do this. So for this we need the hash map. So first I am taking just for example array which has which has eat, t, tan, eight, nat bat like this now let's say let's see so this method is i'll write the method name this is our method one which is categorize by sorting categorize by sorting let's see this now so here we are going to use a hash map. So hash map, our hash map will look like this. Yeah, so our hash map will always have two, okay? two parameters the first one will be sorted string because here we are using that sorted string and here strings will be there sorted string and strings so basically what we will do 
first i will give you example for this so the example is like this if i take silent s i l e n t and if i take listen which is like this and if i do sorting of both so as they are enigrams so they should be both the sorting should look similar if i do the sorting of silent then it will be e i l n s t okay everyone and if i do the sorting of this listen so it is again it is e i l n s t so that means they both are enigrams and they should be in a group so that is what we are going to check so we are going to check array wise we are going to do the sorting of that and we are going to check whether this is anagram or not so let's start this first we are going to take eat which is this one after that we are going to so sort it sorted string and we are going to keep it like this a e t and with this we are going to keep this eat in the string part which is e a t now we will move our pointer ahead we will see this t e t e a after sorting this it will be a e t which is as similar as this so here instead of this we are going to keep so i should extend this great so this is t e a again we are going to move our pointer ahead and now after sorting this what it will form a and t this is not same so we are going to keep this in the sorted string and we are going to keep this in the string part again we are going to move our pointer ahead which is a t e and this time it will be resultant like this a e t so we are going to keep here in this category a t e again we are going to move our pointer ahead and it is n a t and if we sort this so it will be n a n t which is already there so that's why directly we will put this into this category now here comes the bat which is b a t and if we sort this so it is b a b t so a b t and this is b a t and we have completed our search and this is what this is exactly what we are going to return so this is the method which is categorized by sorting and this is our answer this is basically our answer okay so what is the time complexity for this the time complexity will be here big o of n log k big o of n log k will be our time complexity n for the for the array which we are moving so we are just making one scan and we are doing we are calculating the anagram groups of anagram and why this log k because for the hash map which we are using that is why the time complexity is n log k what is this k let's understand what is this k so this k is the length of max string and this n is the number of strings number of strings so that is why the time complexity here is n log k now so this approach is clear let's understand so this approach is done let's understand categorize by frequency method 2 is categorize by frequency again let's take the same array and let's understand this approach as well so this is array this is a a b 
ए बी दिस इज बी ए एंड दिस इज बी बी सी 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 लाइक दिस सो दिस इज आर एरे इवन नाउ वॉट वी हैव टू डू फॉर ईच स्ट्रिंग वी विल मेक द स्ट्रिंग लाइक दिस इफ टू एज आर देर देन वी विल मेक इट एज ए टू एंड only one b is there so that's why it will be one here in this again two a's are there one b is there so it will be like this here in this case again two a's are there b will be one we will make like this in this case a is just one b is b r for two times and c is also for two three times so that is what we are going to write and in this again we are going to use the hash map but with the different parameters okay let's see the hash map so the first parameter for the hash map is frequency string and here are just strings so the first one is first one we will see this one so this we are going to put a to b1 and this string we are going to see that the string is a a b this is the string right now we are going to move to the next one and this we are going to check so i think we have to move this little so we have to extend this so that our strings can come now what we will see that we are here now this is also the same one so again we are going to keep it here which is a b a here this is also same so it will be b a a okay after that here this is the unique one so we are going to keep it here b1 b2 c3 and the string will be a b c c c like this and the second is of no use so this is our hash map okay so basically here we have calculated the frequency of every character and that we are going to store in our hash map so this is also the grouping is done and this we are going to return as our answer so let's say what is the time complexity for this so this approach which is the second approach this is more optimal one because in the first approach we have seen the time complexity as n log k but here the time complexity is only big o of k okay so this is the most optimized one this is just big o of k and here k is the same length of the max string that is the time complexity and here n also is required okay so which is n after that the time complexity here will be n into k here the time complexity was n log k but here the time complexity is n into k n is the same as here n is the number of strings and k is the length of max string so that is the time complexity in this case now let's see the code for this and we will just quickly dry run what is the output so let's see that public so let's see the sudo code for this if str s equals to equals to null and str dot length equals to equals to 0 then we have to written new array list new array list after that we are going to make a frequency string map this is just a pseudo code in the uh, the actual code i'll share in the next class 
so we are just going to make a hash map here okay after that we are going to check the frequency of the string and we will call out we will call out a function which is get frequency string and that will be calculated in the next part okay the whole get frequency will also be a function where the frequency where this work is done so basically there is two departments here one department is checking the frequency and it is bringing to this department and after that it is calculating the grouping of anagram so that we are going to do after that what will happen we will be checking that if the is frequency string map contains key that is in the frequency string or not that we are going to see and if it is not so we have to what we have to do we have to use the get one and we have to add that into our string if it is there so this is all if the frequency is present and we have to add the string to the list after that what we are going to do so here it will be the else one here will be the else one in this we are going to create a new list where a completely new list is there so as you can see here this is the new list this is the list which already we had and this is the new list so for new list what we are going to do we are just going to create a string a, a string list in that array list we are going to create then we are going to add that string to our str list whatever we will take and we will also put that into our map with the frequency string and the list and the frequency string is already which we will be calculating so there is a separate program for this the string which will be calculated like whatever so it is a completely different program like we will be taking a frequency array after that we will be starting with the string and characters okay we will be creating a new string and we are going to append the character with the number of frequency so this, so this is a complete one and if you didn't get also it is absolutely fine because eventually in the next class i am going to tell you with the complete code i am going to show you the complete code and the code for this so this is actually a pseudo code where i am helping you to write the code because i am giving you the idea so that you can write it properly let's write the code for group anagrams so we have seen the pseudo code for the uh, above problem now let's see the actual code and let's see how it is how the output it will give right so let's write the if so here if you are using java then there will be public list string like the like, like that the function will be there of group of anagrams and after that let's write what will be the code so here i am writing the condition one by one and also i will be telling you how this condition works and what is the meaning of that condition so first is the if let's say str s equals to equals to null and str dot length str dot length is equals to equals to zero then what we have to do we have to written new array list we have to return new array list so that is what we have to do okay now what we will do we will create a map and that map will be string and uh, string list so which means basically it will be of frequency and string so that that uh, there are the two parameters for it so let's make a map map so here we will have string and here list of string and here frequency string map and here a new hash map is created where new hash map okay like this it will be after that for loop will run so for string str and here the traversal will start now here we want string frequency so we will get the frequency of the string for from this 
so let's write the code for this and after that get frequency code also we will see basically if you will see in the code we were writing one a one b two c three so the uh, the string is like this if it is like this so this is how it is written so is it a magic happening here okay that it will automatically get converted like this a1 b1 b2 c3 and something like that no we are going to write a code for this also like how from this string this string is created okay and that is what this function is about get frequency string okay that is what the function is so we will call out the function we will also see the code for that frequency string str after that if the frequency string is present add the string to the list so that if will be there so this if means if the string is present then we have to add it to our list so we will write our if frequency strings map dot contains key after that frequency string after that frequency string now we have to get the frequency and we have to add that into our str so that is similar we are going to do frequency string map dot get frequency frequency string dot add str so we will get that from our hash map and we will add into our frequency okay and this is about if the string is present in the frequency but what if the string is not present then we will use our else and this else will create a new list okay as you can see in the example as this is not present so it will create a new list where these the string will be present okay everyone let's see the code for that list string str list equals to new array list so str list dot add str and after that in frequency we are going to put the string and the so frequency string and the string list okay so that is what we are going to do frequency string map dot put frequency string str list str list so that is completed and after completing all this what we have to return there will be a written statement written new array list where it will be of frequency so it will return frequency string map dot values so this is what we will written okay so this is the complete code for group an anagrams now let's understand about this code how we will get the frequency how we will get that frequency in the form so that is what we want to know now so let's write the code for this get frequency and then i'll explain how it is done so int here the array is created freq new int 26 because there are only 26 alphabets so that is why we are going to create a frequency bucket where we will write all the frequencies so how the bucket will be the bucket will be like this it is basically array which is freq and this is basically the array like this this will start with 0 first second till 24 and 25 okay so this is the index value i should write the index value like this 
24 25 so this is basically like this an array will be created like this okay now let's write the next code so one for loop we are going to run for care c str dot to care array like this and here frequency c minus a so this is what we do okay this is what we do in the array itself here whatever the ascii value will be there that we will subtract from our c whatever the c is there that we will subtract from the c and we will do plus plus in that okay plus plus in that let's say the value is b so it will be one so on one index the value will be plus plus so that is what we are going to do so this is basically iterate over each character okay iterate over each character so this for loop says that after that what we will do we will now create the frequency string so here we want string builder frequency string equals to new string builder empty string now we will take char c initialized with the a that we can initialize for int i freq now frequency frequency string dot append c whatever the c is there that we have to append here and frequency string dot append ith value whatever is the ith value that we are going to append that And after that c plus plus hear this and we will return we will return frequency string to string this the conversion is there frequency string to string conversion is there okay and that's how we will do it so first we have created this array so this array will basically contain all the zero values initially all the zero values it will have initially and let's say if we take our trial string as if we take our str as a a b c b like this so what the output it should give us a 2 b 2 c 1 this is the output it should give so all this this perfect this code what it will do it will iterate one by one one by one okay let's say it will iterate to one like here and it will update it the value to one after that it will go to a it will again update it the value to two here it will go it will update it the value to one after that again it will go to c it will update the value to one here it is b it will update the value to two so basically what we are going to get a2 b2 c1 this is the value we are going to do and after getting this value a2 b2 c1 after getting this value finally we are going to convert this into two string and we will be returning this value here this value we will be returning here and after that same procedure will work on like this as i said same will be work on this we are going to get after that one by one we are going to check that uh, so if this is there this is added this we will check we will again convert it if this is matching we will add it okay that is what the case is here see contains this string whatever the string we have got that it contains so we will get and we will put that into our list like this if the string is something new which is not matching then this else will work where we have to create a new list and we have to add into our str and we have to put the frequency and the list like this so this is what exactly it will work and this is uh, and see what it will give it will completely give us the value which is b2 i'll tell you like this now you must be wondering that the values are till 0 to 255 so only they will give us uh, b2 a2 
b2 and c1 and what about the rest of the numbers so rest of the numbers also value they will give and that will be d0 e0 until z0 and this we will be converting into our string like two string we are going to convert and this we are going to return here so that is how the code for group of enigrams will work okay and the time complexity we have already discussed great so i hope this code is very very simple and you got the problem now let's see the next problem